you guys for this week so far. Once again, here's an SCP Foundation video, like SCP-049, the Play Doctor. Uh, just from the sound of being Play Doctor, I'm thinking of uh, either probably Modern Society Hazmat Suit Dude or uh, uh, maybe even like a, a doctor during the uh, Black Death, I think was the name of that pandemic. It was like the worst pandemic in human history. It killed like 200 million people or some shit like that. So um, that's all I got from like at least the the name the play doctor um i got no idea It'd be cool if it was a second one though because those guys are pretty cool they, they got like the uh the beak masks and shit uh i don't know much about them <laughs> i don't know much about them but um yeah definitely excited for this one and besides what i just guessed before i don't know much about it i don't know much about uh him and whatever the hell some weird ability he has maybe he can cure people maybe it's not evil scp so it's a doctor or it'll just kill people. Like, there's no in-between when it comes to these SCPs. It's either, like, good or it's evil for the most part. So, um, uh, like always, read your video in the description. Make sure you guys check them out. Uh, like, every other content creator I do any content uh, for, um, they take a lot of time to basically take all this information, all this all this lore, and make it to an easy-to-understand video, not just for you guys, but for myself. Um, since I'm, I'm trying to learn this, this series and there's a lot to take in and all these scps are so unique in their own right so uh show him some love uh like his video comment do all that stuff for him uh, he definitely deserves it uh if you guys enjoy my content guys my reactions please with the like and subscribe let's get to it good day everyone and welcome back to scp illustrated entry log 96 Today we're going to be taking a look at an old classic SCP, oh, SCP-049. Uh, now everyone knows SCP-049, and it's an SCP that has garnered a lot of attention over the years. I have done a video on SCP-049 in the past, however since then, the file has undergone a massive overhaul with new interviews and new content, so I've decided to have another look at it. Now this is a Euclid class SCP, and this video does contain scenes of surgery, dismemberment, experimentation, violence and blood. Without further ado, let's begin. Why you guys gotta tell me these kind of videos, man? It's gonna be nasty, bro. Oh, I see the beak. Hey, hey, okay. The following sweet. data release has been authorized Dope. by the following council members and administration staff. Incident 049, 16th of April, 2017. Post investigation report. It has been ascertained that the death of Dr. Ham was due to two primary factors. Dr. Ham did not activate the emergency alert system. Page negligence resulting in his failure to monitor the exchange via CCTV. Had Agent monitoring the exchange as his standard protocol, it is certain that security teams would have been able to successfully intervene before SCP-049 killed Dr. Ham. Ah. Evidence from this investigation has been submitted to the appropriate body to be used in Agent So he is killing people, period. obviously. Dr. Ham's of kin have been informed. I wonder how he does it though, like, do, like or at least his surgeries, maybe just like, chop some up maybe? SCP-049 is a humanoid Dope. entity roughly 1.9 meters in height, which bears the appearance of a medieval plague doctor. Yo. While SCP-049 appears to be wearing the thick robes and the ceramic mask indicative of that profession, the garments instead seem to have grown out of SCP-049's body over time, mm. and are now nearly indistinguishable from whatever form is beneath them. X-rays indicate that, despite this, SCP-049 does have a humanoid skeletal structure beneath its outer layer. Interesting. SCP-049 is capable of speech in a variety of languages, though tends to prefer English or medieval French. Intelligent. While SCP-049 is generally cordial and cooperative with Foundation staff, it can become especially irritated or at times outright aggressive if it feels that it is in the presence of what it calls the pestilence. Pestilence. Although the exact nature of this pestilence is currently unknown to Foundation researchers, okay. it does seem to be an issue of immense concern to SCP-049. SCP-049 will bro? become hostile with individuals it sees as being affected by the pestilence. Dude, it looks often dope, bro. having to be restrained should it encounter such. If left unchecked, SCP-049 will generally attempt to kill any such individual. Hmm. SCP-049 is capable of causing all biological functions of an organism to cease through direct skin contact. He's OP! Bro. Um, I, I don't know if anyone here uh, watches uh, um, Rick and Morty. If you guys know what scene I'm talking about, he's like in like the 
the Oval Office, Oval Office, and like that that one uh, agent comes over and touches Rick and just dies like that. Is that literally what he's capable of? You just touch him, dead. That's nuts, bro. How this occurs is currently unknown, and all autopsies of SCP-049's victims have invariably been inconclusive. SCP-049 has expressed frustration or remorse after these killings, indicating that they have done little to kill the pestilence. They will usually seek to then perform a crude surgery on the corpse using the implements contained within a black doctor's bag it carries on its person at all times. What the hell? While these surgeries are not always successful, they often result in the creation of instances of SCP-049-2. SCP-049-2 instances are reanimated corpses that have been operated on by SCP-049. These instances do not seem to retain any of their prior memories or mental functions, having only basic motor skills what and response fuck, mechanisms. Dude? While these instances are generally inactive, moving very little and in a generally ambulatory fashion, they can become extremely aggressive if provoked, or if directed to by SCP-049. Was making zombies, dude? SCP-049-2 instances express active biological functions, though these are vastly different from currently understood human physiology. Despite these alterations, SCP-049 often remarks that the subjects have been cured. Cured my ass. Special containment procedures. SCP-049 is contained within a standard secure humanoid containment cell in Research Sector 02 at Site-19. SCP-049 must be sedated before any attempts to transport it. During transport, yeah, touch SCP-049 must be secured within a Class 3 humanoid restriction harness, including a locking collar and extension restraints, and monitored by no fewer than two armed guards. While SCP-049 is generally cooperative with most Foundation personnel, outbursts or sudden changes in behaviour are to be met with elevated force. Mm. Under no circumstances should any personnel come into direct contact with SCP-049 no during shit. these outbursts. In the event SCP-049 becomes aggressive, the application of lavender has been shown to produce a calming effect on the entity. Once calmed, SCP-049 generally becomes compliant and will return to containment with little resistance. Is 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 that like, I mean, I'm assuming it says medieval. I, I could be totally wrong here, but wasn't like lavender like seen as like, like helpful during, like like the actual like plague, you know, during medieval times. Like 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 is that, like I'm just trying to remember. Is, I don't know. I could be just talking my ass here. I mean, if if it's not like that. Then why does Lavender calm him down? I got no idea. Alright. In order to facilitate the ongoing containment of SCP-049, the entity is to be provided with the corpse of a recently deceased animal, typically what? a bovine or other large mammal, once every two weeks for study. Corpses that become instances of SCP-049-2 are to be removed from SCP-049's containment cell and incinerated. Uh. SCP-049 is no longer permitted to interact with human subjects, and requests for human subjects are to be denied. Temporary Containment Procedure Update Per Containment Committee Order 049 Sierra 1971, SCP-049 is no longer permitted to interact directly with any members of Foundation staff, nor is it to be provided with any additional corpses to be used in its surgeries. This order shall persist indefinitely until such time a consensus regarding the ongoing containment of SCP-049 can be reached. Hmm. Addendum 049-1 Discovery SCP-049 was discovered during the investigation of a series of unknown disappearances in the town in southern France. During a raid on a local home, investigators found several instances of SCP-049-2 as well as SCP-049. While law enforcement personnel engaged the hostile 049-2 instances, SCP-049 was noted as watching the engagement and taking notes in its journal. <laughs> Bro's just taking notes. After all of the 049-2 instances were dispatched, SCP-049 willingly entered Foundation custody. Interesting. The following interview was conducted by Dr. Raymond Hamm during the initial investigation. Interview with Dr. Raymond Hamm of Site-85, interviewee SCP-049. That sounds like. That's what he sounds like. 
Dude, he sounds sick. Dude, he sounds dope as shit. What the fuck? Is that... Is that French? Can we get a translator? The King's English. No need for translation, sir. I can speak it well enough. That's a flex. My name is Dr. Raymond Ham. And I... Uh, a doctor. A like-minded individual, no doubt. Wherein is your speciality, sir? Cryptobiology. Why? <laughs> a medical man, such as myself. Wonders abound. And here, I worried I had been abducted by common street thugs. This place, then, this is your laboratory. I had wondered, as clean as it is, and with such little trace of the pestilence here. The pestilence? What is that, dude? The scourge. The great dying. Come now. You know the... What is it they call it? The... The... Um, ah, no matter. The pestilence, yes. It abounds outside these walls, you know. So many have succumbed. He doesn't even know what I mean, bro. And many will continue to, until such time as a perfect cure can be developed. Fortunately, I am very close. It is my duty in life to rid the world of it, you see. The cure to end all cures. When you so is pestilence like all kinds of sicknesses like cancer, common cold, like all that stuff? I don't know. I, I'm confused on that bit. If they don't explain this video, you guys might be able to clear it up for me, but I don't know. Say the great dying. Are you talking about the bubonic plague? I don't know what that is. Oh, I see. Right, well, the entities are agents encountered at the house. Uh, they were dead when you encountered them. Yes, you reanimated them. Mm. In a manner of speaking, you see things too simply, Doctor. Expand your horizons. Life and death. Sickness and health. These are amateur terms for amateur physicians. There is only one ailment that exists in the world of men, and that is the pestilence, and nothing else. Make no mistake, they were very ill. All of them. You think you cured those people? Indeed. My cure is most effective. Uh. But the things we recovered were not human. Yes, well, it is not a perfect cure. But that will come with time and further experimentation. I have spent a lifetime developing my methods, Dr. Ham, and will spend a lifetime more if necessary. Now, we have wasted too much time. There is work to do. Dude, he's insane. I will require a laboratory of my own, one where I can continue my research unimpeded. And assistance, of course, though I can provide those on my own. In time. <laughs> oh, I don't think our organization would be willing to... Nonsense. We are all men of science. Fetch your coat and show me to my quarters, Doctor. Our work begins now. Dude. That's creepy, bro. Interviews notes. While SCP-049 is capable of communicating in a very human way, there is a the strange unease. sense of unease that one experiences mm. when in its presence. It's a great way to put it. Make no mistake. There is something very uncanny about this entity indeed. Being uneasy is perfect, Additionally, man. We've confiscated that pointed stick that SCP-049 keeps waving around. Part of this was due to standard confiscation protocols for the possession of anomalies, and part because 049 really is a menace swinging it around like he does. The entity was displeased at first, but after we made some concessions in providing it with test subjects, which are admittedly more for the benefit of our own research, it warmed up to the idea. Addendum 049-2 Observation Log While in <clears> containment <throat> at Site-19, SCP-049 has spent a considerable amount of time studying and performing surgery on the various mammalian corpses it has been provided. SCP-049 will routinely spend several days performing surgery, and then, regardless of whether or not the corpse becomes an instance of SCP-049-2, spending several more days documenting its findings in a thick leather journal stored within its doctor's bag. Hmm. SCP-049 will often seek to share its finding with members of Foundation staff. 
The following is a log of several occasions during which SCP-049 was observed operating on a mammalian corpse. Observational Log 049, Oscar Lima, 1 Summary. Subject, SCP-049. Go ahead Preface. and go, man. A test subject, D-8513, sure my ass. was introduced into SCP-049's containment cell. The entity expressed sincere gratitude towards all members of the containment and research staff. Observation Notes SCP-049 began by asking D-85123 several standard medical questions, as it began removing tools from its bag. Shortly after finishing its preparations, SCP-049 quickly closed the distance between the two, killing the subject with a touch to its throat. Dude. Afterwards, SCP-049 made a number of considerable alterations to the basic structure of the subject's corpse, often introducing fluids from within its bag into the subject by way of a hand-powered pump and copper tubing. What the fuck? The resulting 049-2 instance became animated, flailing and grasping at the walls of the chamber with a number of manufactured limbs while moaning out of an oblong orifice now present in its sternum. <laughs> During this time, SCP-049 was observed taking notes of the instance in its journal and remarking to the watching research staff about the efficiency of its cure. Efficiency, my dick. Security personnel entered the chamber to move SCP-049 back to containment and were attacked by the instance. The security team dispatched the 049-2 instance and SCP-049 returned to containment with no resistance, what the hell? stating that it was pleased with the results. Observational Log 049, Oscar Lima 2. Summary. Subject, SCP-049. Pre the, they get revived too, so I guess that makes sense. Holy balls, dude. That thing looks nasty, dude. SCP-049 was provided the corpse of a recently deceased goat. SCP-049 expressed gratitude at the provision. Observational Notes SCP-049 operated on the goat corpse for several days, eventually resulting in an instance of SCP-049-2. SCP-049 expressed pleasure in its outcome, though admitted, The disease was still in its nascent stage, my veterinarian practice is rudimentary, but the patient responded well to the procedure. Observational Dude, Log 049, sick, Oscar Lima 3, Summary. Subject, SCP-049, Preface. SCP-049 was provided the corpse of a recently deceased orangutan. SCP-049 expressed noted gratitude at the provision due to the similarities between the orangutan and common human physiology. Observation Notes. SCP-049 spent several days operating on the orangutan, reanimating it several times. However, SCP-049 appeared to be discontent with the results it experienced, returning to the creature three times after its initial reanimation mm. for additional work. After it was unable to reanimate the corpse a fifth time, SCP-049 turned the corpse over to Foundation staff for incineration, stating, I have learned so much from this, though I fear my early optimism was misplaced. I haven't yet come across such a, a stumbling block on my road to the cure. More subjects like this would do a great deal in advancing my research. I'm going to keep them happy, right? Observational Shit. Log 049, Oscar Lima 7, full. Subject, SCP-049, Preface. SCP-049 was provided the corpse of a recently deceased bovine. It's brain, bro. SCP-049 expressed mild annoyance at the provision, though accepted it nonetheless. Observational Notes. SCP-049 spent several days operating on the bovine corpse, breaking only to dine on a requested dinner of thin crackers, salted pork, and hard cheese. Beginning hmm. first by embalming the corpse, SCP-049 so was observed to eat. producing okay. a number of long syringes from its bag, so each weird, containing man. a different dark viscous fluid. SCP-049 described these fluids as essences of the humors, and elaborated by saying the pestilence may bring about a systemic imbalance. In such a case, before true healing can begin, one must find the humors in balance or the body will reject the cure. Over the next few days, SCP-049 spent a considerable amount of time adjusting the organs of the bovine corpse with a number of large metal instruments. What the hell? After eight days, SCP-049 produced a lightning rod which Dr. Ham exchanged for an electric cattle prod attached to an extension cord and struck the corpse in several locations. This action seemingly had the effect of reanimating the bovine which once again became ambulatory. 
despite the inversion of the head and reorientation of its limbs. Interesting. Follow-up interview. Weird, man. We've watched you work for several weeks now, and honestly, I'm not sure I understand what you're doing. Could you describe your process in detail? Oh, goodness, no. The process is most intensive. As I said to your assistant, the best instruction you will find about my methods are here in my journals, as I have kept exhaustive records of my work there. Oh, I see. Well, my concern, Doctor, is that we still don't understand what you're seeking to cure, or how it manifests, or how turning these creatures into quasi-living, mindless drones helps in that effort. You do not understand the pestilence, even after all this time. Doctor, it is an unspeakable I don't know what the shit is, bro. one that has shown its true face many times before, and will again. I find myself blessed with the wisdom and good senses needed to root it out and destroy it. But many, like yourself, cannot. It is a cruel judgment, I fear, to be at the mercy of a disease you cannot fully comprehend. He doesn't, but he doesn't explain it. doesn't answer my question. How shall cure any kind of cure at all? It is a cure. You may laugh at my efforts if you please, but do not besmirch the good name of scientific progress that has developed this great mercy. What you short-sightedly see here is a life better than any this creature could have hoped for. Stricken as it was with the pestilence, this creature is now clean, unable to spread the pestilence, and free from the terror it would have experienced otherwise. See, see the thing with me with this, he doesn't say pestilence, but he's never explained what it is. As soon as you ask him what it is, he deflects it. He deflects it, he gaslights. He doesn't even know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. This is hardly a creature at all, Doctor. It's not even... Do not jape with me, sir. You and your colleagues are like so many others, unable to look past minor setbacks to see the salvation taking place before your very eyes. Do you wait to remove rotten timbers until the hall collapses on top of you? No. You find them, and you pull them out and replace them with those untouched by rot. And most of all, you do not simply mock the structure, because it now looks different to you. It is strong. It is free of disease. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to agitate you. I'm, I'm just trying to understand. Yes. Well, do mind your words in the future, Doctor. I am a professional, but... Even professionals may feel the bite of pride in dealing with criticism of their masterpiece. Dude, this guy's nuts. I will forgive this as an act of good faith between colleagues. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that will be all. Another test subject on the usual schedule. You know my preference of subjects with more human anatomies. Attending research. Dude, notes. what the fuck? <laughs> SCP-049 does seem to genuinely want to help other humans, though it has not yet been able to provide a concrete example of what exactly it is trying to say. Facts, dude. From. I just said that. Facts. I have watched it now over several weeks, and while the outcomes do not seem to ever change, SCP-049 continues to claim that it is growing closer to its perfect cure. I think the entity may be more aware of the reality of these outcomes than it would like us to think. Addendum 049-3 16th of April, 2017 incident. Starting shortly after SCP-049's oh, initial containment, Dr. Ham conducted a number of interviews with the subject regarding its anomalous properties, and over time began to note its displeasure with its subjects and the SCP-049-2 instances. This continued for a period of several months, during which SCP-049 never exhibited any aggressive behaviours. Does now. On April the 16th, 2017, as Dr. Ham was entering SCP-049's test chamber to conduct another routine interview, the entity began to grow anxious and asked Dr. Ham if he was feeling well. Following protocol, Dr. Ham reminded SCP-049 that the interview was required, and after which the entity became hostile and attacked Dr. Ham, killing him. Uh. Due to a lapse in security protocol and because Dr. Ham did not activate the in-chamber emergency system, 
Dr. Ham's corpse was not discovered until three hours later, by which point SCP-049 had Damn, converted it bro. into an instance of SCP-049-2. In the aftermath of this incident, SCP-049 was interviewed by Dr. Sherman. Interviewer Dr. Sherman, Site-42. Damn, bro. Interviewee SCP-049. I need you to explain yourself. SCP-049, you are being directed to explain your actions, and I will remind you that failure to cooperate will result in further restrictions during your containment. My actions do not need to be explained. Ah, oh, boy. You killed Raymond Ham, and then butchered him until he... Not dead. No, not... not dead. He is... he is cured. Cured? Cured of what? Pestilence, sir. I had thought you, at least, would realize what luck it is. I detected it before. What pestilence? You keep going on and on about this pestilence, but you have not once been able to properly identify this disease. What could you have possibly seen in him today that you had not seen so many times before? That it would be worth his life? He... The pestilence presents and progresses in unforeseeable fashions and has a queer way of... Of creeping into the unprepared. Oh boy. And call it what you want, Doctor. It was a mercy I did to him. He is cured. He is a vegetable. I I would not expect you to understand. Gasoline again, bro. You and your your ilk have proven time and time again. Gas lady. Not to be men of science, but men of of emotion. You cannot appreciate the horrors I have seen. Those many millions who have succumbed to the pestilence have been changed. Your cure cost Ray his life. No, good sir. I have saved it. You will allow this world to slip back into the, the despair of disease and death, ignoring that I have created a miracle. And what disease? What pestilence? He was a healthy man. He was a good doctor. I'm offering it freely to the afflicted. Oh boy, he's gonna piss him off, bro. Worth this argument, sir. You are short sighted and foolish. Dr. Ham was sick, and I. I cured him. I am the only one who can do this. He's never explained once, though. Continue. There is still so much to learn. So much I've to had do. enough of this. And Consider your allowances were saved. Even you. Welcome to containment, you know, 049. So might be saved. We're done here. I can save them all. I can cast down this plague once and for all. I can do this. Only me. I am. I saved him. I saved him. He looks like I can guess his actions. <sighs> Dr. Ham. I I cured him. He was sick. I know he was sick. I know he was. And I had you are all sick, but I, uh, I can save you. I can save all of you because I, I am the cure. He's trying to like, camera like like thing. I'm trying to say he's trying to basically say to himself that he's right, mentally. At least that's what I got from that last little bit, of, like the last little snippet of his uh, interview. Like he's trying to prove to himself that what he's doing is right, because. I don't know. He's he's not sounding so mentally stable right now, bro. Not, not so Again, sure of himself. Post incident report interview. The following interview is an excerpt from the 16th of April 2017 049 incident report. The interview was conducted by Dr. Elijah Itkin and took place three weeks after the start of the initial investigation. Interviewer Dr. Elijah Itkin, interviewee SCP 049. SCP 049. We are conducting this interview to close out our investigation of your actions taken on April 16th that resulted in the death of a staff member. Do you have any comments to make? Only that I look forward to the day when you will allow me to resume my work. I have spent the last few weeks compiling my notes and constructing a new theory for how the pestilence was able to infect someone in such an insidious manner that I nearly couldn't detect it. Have you experienced any remorse for your actions? For the death of Dr. Ham? Ah, yes. Well, 
The death of a colleague is always regrettable, but in the face of the pestilence, we must be swift, Doctor, and act without hesitation. Dr. Sherman noted in his report that you seemed to be mournful during your initial interview. Mourn? Perhaps. I had not thought that. It is Listen lamentable that a fellow doctor became infected, but the work continues. Regrettable as, as it was, Dr. Ham's death provided important insight. Living human subjects are the only way to proceed forward, oh, I have decided. My cure is of little use on dead flesh, and I have gleaned all I can from your generous supply of corpses. My desires turn towards tending to those still living who suffer from the disease. Oh boy. I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> oh, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure. I don't like the sound of the head. <laughs> <No. laughs> so basically what I got from this is he's crazy, looks dope as shit, sounds cool, and gaslights doctors because he doesn't know how to explain what the pestilence is by saying that I am the cure and I can only do it and and basically never be able to to uh, tell them exactly what this pestilence is just proves that it's complete bullshit it's complete bullshit and he's crazy literally he's, he's completely utterly crazy um, multiple times to 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 explain what it was and he failed why do I feel my glasses are crooked? <laughs> Multiple times to uh, uh, explain what it was, and he failed every single time. So uh, I'm excited to see if anything comes out of this. If there's ever like any explanation what the pestilence is, but from the sound of it, it's nothing. But the fact that he can reanimate corpses is crazy. So he can make his own little army if he wanted to. So, um, but that's all I really got from it. I'll probably end up watching this back again, just seeing you know in case I missed anything. But. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. Again, original video will be in the description. Please just check it out. And also, if you guys enjoy my content, if you guys enjoy my reactions, please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.